This is a scammer that we just caught red-handed. And he's doing everything in his power to get away from us and avoid being exposed. But he just tried to steal $200,000 from us. And unfortunately for him, he's not getting off easy. We're about to chase him through a hotel, the streets, the trees, a cemetery, and even the sewers. Get ready for the wildest and most dangerous scammer cash mule bust we've ever done. Welcome to Trilogy Media. You ever seen one of these before? A scary looking pop-up on your computer screen saying your computer is locked with viruses and you need to call a phone number to fix it? This is a very common tech support scam and we're hunting the criminals behind this operation right here in this video. We've rigged this hotel room with hidden cameras and a few other surprises. Oh my God. Because this is a scammer sting operation, meaning we're making the scammers think that they're coming here to collect money from a would-be victim but instead they're gonna meet us. But how do we make the scammers think that there's a real victim? That's where scam baiting comes in. Scam baiters from all over the world are doing God's work by wasting scammers time and exposing their tactics to millions. But we at Trilogy Media like to take things a step further by confronting the criminals face to face and making them answer for their crimes. This is what's referred to as a pop-up scam and it usually originates out of India. But what most people don't know is that there are teams of people locally here in the United States that are assisting the scam by being a cash mule. They collect the money from the victim and then launder it back to the call centers overseas. In today's bait, the scammer is trying to steal $200,000 from a sick old lady. But how did we get here? Enter master baiters, Ray and Chappie. Thank you for calling support. You're speaking to James. How can I help you? My name is Mary. I'm calling because I'm getting a message on my computer that says my computer's blocked for security reasons. And it says to contact Microsoft support. So Ray calls the number and pretends to be Mary and is immediately connected to a scammer working in an Indian call center. I don't know what I did, but it looks pretty serious. We have to follow the certain procedure which is going to help you to get you connected to our department and they will going to take care of it all the problems which you are actually having in these kinds of situations. First order of business for the scammer is to get remote access to the victim's computer. This gives the scammer direct access to all of the victim's personal and financial information. And Ray simply goes along with it, but not without riling up the scammer a little bit along the way. I want you to type it over there. W type w type w it w over w there. W okay, when you say over there, so are you referring to please, hold there up. as Can in T-H-E-R-E or T-H-E-I-R. I am not sitting here. You're not my teacher that you can teach me everything. Either You're telling you me. Let me to speak or read yeah. that. Okay, Go speak. ahead and solve your problem. Letter A for oh, Apple. Honey. Letter honey. N for November. I can spell. I can spell. What is the name of the website? I don't understand why it's you think I can't spell. I can spell any desk. Then put a dot, then C-O-M com. Okay. And let me James, know what... James, James. Ma'am, please do not pay the... Can I say something? Point, May I say something? Just please. I just want you to follow the guidelines and please tell me what exactly you can see in your computer screen now. Please. I'm, I'm at a website. It's called AnyDesk. Just below that, you can see there was a red color box. It's written download now. Do it's you not that? a box. 
It's it's an oval, an elongated oval. Boxes have sharp corners. Okay, whatever whatever it is, whatever it is, do you see something says download now? Yes, it's in a link. It's in a red oval. Elongated. Click on that, download now. You are keep talking. Please I want you to take yourself calm down and relax yourself. Alright, I'm relaxed. It looks like it downloaded a program. Yeah, I understand you have. Listen it, to me. Listen to me, downloaded please. A I program. am requesting you. I understand. Oh my goodness, you are taking my patience up. Now I am saying is that I understand that you are, have a lot of knowledge, and I respect that as well. But I don't want you to put your nose into my work because this is just getting stretched and stretched and stretched. I, I am just not simply processing the from James. James, the, the any desk, listen, any desk listen, website listen says people. I have to accept terms problem. and conditions. But not letting me complete. Well, it says your address and it has a series of numbers. That does not look like my address. No, no, no. Tell me the... My address is on Redwood this is Road. Not your it's not in this... What? Ma'am, this is not your address. This is not your address. Could you it please says be it's... quiet and just follow the instructions? Please, I don't want your any instructions right at this moment. All right. Do you get it? Straight up telling you I don't want your instruction. Whatever you see, just tell to me what exactly you see so I could go ahead and proceed that. I'm not sitting here, I'm not a student, you're not my teacher that you're going to teach me everything. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher, you I'm a nurse. It? Tell me the address. It's one. Okay, wait for a moment. Let me just go ahead and get you connected first, then I will get back to you and try to make you understand. So we're off to an interesting start, but alas, the scammer is connected to a computer of what he thinks is a real victim of the pop-up scam. And now he'll use all his smoke and mirrors to lead Mary exactly where he wants her. Another person would like yes. to access your device. If you yes. accept, do you this see person out there can do that? everything that you can do on your device, sending money, Mom, reading text oh, messages, oh, you're gonna read my you're gonna read my text messages and my email? That's what it says. Please, no 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 no. Ma'am, it this says is it not right like there. That. You just follow that. It says if could you, you please accept help me or this person I click, I click on, on accept and I am aware of the rig. Alright. Click on accept. Alright. I am aware of the rigs. Then click on accept again. I did. Why are you so angry? Now wait for a moment. I am going to help you through giving you a new password and security. Now okay. you can see at the top, it's a red color line. It says unlock security setting. So what the scammer is doing here is he's setting up Mary's computer so he can spy on her with unattended access indefinitely even after the scam is over. It's very common for these scammers to hold on to remote connections in the background to spy on successful scam victims in order to scam them again and again later on down the line. Now, where you can see something says permission profile. Now click unattended access. Just below you can see it says set password. Click on yeah. set password. Okay, so this is where I set my password that only I know. Okay. Yes. Now wait for a moment. No, 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 no. Not that password that you're putting. No, you're making mistake, ma'am. No. Delete everything. Ma'am, you're making mistake. Delete that. Ma'am, why are you not on this? Why are you making everything complicated, Mrs. Roberts? You why told you're... me. You just told me that when I choose unattended access, I will be given a password. I... That's this is not needed. That password which you are going to put it. This is the password which is going to be generated from the Microsoft Secure Server. And the password is Sunday. S U N D A Y. Then one, two, three, four. Now I want you to type it over there. C M D. Click on command prompt. Now when you see your first name was there, it's Mary. And just next to that, there was a cursor is flashing. I want you to type it over there. Net 
chat. Now here's where the scam can really hook people, especially those that aren't tech savvy. The scammer is using Mary's computer's command prompt to run what's called a netstat command, which stands for network statistics. All it is is a tool that basically shows all the computer's active network connections. But the scammers are counting on their victims not being tech savvy because he'll utilize this information to scare the victim. He wants the victim to think that their computer has been hacked and infiltrated by foreign criminals, even though that's not at all what's happening. Press the enter button now. Okay, I did. I pushed enter. What is I on the screen? I want you to scroll the page up. I want you to scroll the page up. Now, where you type netstat, just below you can see there was an active connection. Do you see it? Yeah, it says active connections, and then there's four columns. The local address that you can see, this is your local address. Whenever you go to like the website... That doesn't look anything like my Redwood Road address. I don't follow. And there's more than one. Ma'am, this is not the home That's address. Really weird. This is that... your computer I live on IP Re... address. I live on Redwood you know, Road. I am telling you, when I talk, I want you to listen to me carefully. When I stop, then I want then I want James. you to speak. James, James. I am... No, 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 no. You are not letting me complete. It's called local IP address. Now, this is your whole IP address. Do you okay. see that? Yes, I see it. You keep asking me a question. You keep asking me a question and I'll without stop. letting stop. me the answer. Apart from you, somebody else in foreign countries, they have tried to attack into your computer just because this problem has happened and your all of your financial and all of your personal information has been stolen from your computer without right. your knowledge and without your permission. You can see many of these foreign addresses are being connected to your computer and they all are established right now right your computer has been locked up from those people who was actually trying to use your system oh wow then this is going to be scanned right now now it's what it show you right now it's showing you scan failed your internet is at risk we found 40,000 errors into your computer and of course now that he's got the victim on the hook he can just copy and paste whatever text he wants into this command prompt now it's not actually doing anything but he's making it look like the computer is generating this text 40,000 errors no it says 40,000 yes. arrows and he probably should have done spell check first but arrows arrows is, arrows it, is just it, a form of errors man we have found there was a three charges into your account right at this moment okay so here's where the money comes into play the scammer will tell the victim that there are fraudulent charges pending in their bank charges that need to be resolved directly with the bank itself show me the charges that you saw because i didn't see any such charges so read it to me what what do you see out there read it to me Scan mm -hmm. failed. We found three unauthorized charges in your Chase bank account. Okay, wow. I do need mm -hmm. to talk through my bank. But they don't want the victim to just call the real bank. Okay, do you want me to no. just ha hang up and give them a call? No, 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 no. They'll set up the call for you on a secure line. Your phone line is not working secure as well because you're using the same internet line right now. So what I'm going to do it no, for I'm you. No, I will Th be... No, I'm using AT&T. That is the problem that you're not going to understand me when I am trying to say something. My computer and my phone are on separate communications channels. We work as a company. Our lines will be very safe and secure and being protected. I am going ahead and initiated a line for you, the encrypted line, which is going to help you to talk to your bank freely so nobody else who can contaminate your line and nobody right. else who can know like what exactly you are talking to. All the scammer is doing is getting the customer service number of the victim's bank and then spoofing it as his to make it look like the bank is calling the victim. Be handy with the card, the card that you are associated with the bank. There was a toll free number. 1-800-935. So I would oh. like you to just wait for a moment. Let me just go ahead and initiate an encrypted line for you at this moment. All right. So now oh. hold on for a moment. Do not try to uh, do anything from your side. I'll do each and everything for you. Okay. So just stay right. connected. But in reality, the victim is just talking to another scammer in a neighboring cubicle. Welcome to Chase. Para Español, oprima el asterisco. Please enter your debit card, account number, or user ID. 
followed by the pound key. Yeah, welcome to Cheese. You are speaking with Mike. How may I help you? I have three charges that have appeared in my bank through a scan that Microsoft did on my computer. The first charge that is of $3,797.95. It has been charged on a Chinese merchant for the lifetime subscription of a graphic website. <laughs> Graphy, what is the second one for? The second one that is of $9,652.54. That is to buy some sports equipment and the money is going to some Russian merchant. Third oh, wow. one that is of $16,752.48. That is to buy some illegal pharmaceutical drugs like Viagra and something else. So are you talking about these three charges? Yeah, and I, I added them up to come to a total of $30,202. What I would um, like you to do is cancel those because those amounts are ridiculous. I would never make charges like that, most certainly with another country. So I would like to have these cancelled immediately. Alright, I was trying to cancel the charges from my side, but I am a bit surprised here. I can see that these charges has been pre-approved. Well, you can still cancel them. I've done it before with Amazon. Ma'am, we are working under the guidelines provided by the federal government and uh, Better Business Bureaus. And as per the Banking Act 1986, we are not authorized to cancel the charges which has been already approved by the customer himself. Can you tell me how far is the local branch from your place? During this time of the day, it's about a 20 minute. 10, 15 to 20 minute drive on my car. Because right now, let's say, even if you shut down this account, we provide you a new account. The transaction switch has been up already approved. That will hit your account. Your account will show the minus balance and in future you will be liable to make this payment. Right. But our main problem right now is to stop these transactions because we just have a couple of hours. These transactions are still under process. It is 92% complete. Right now we are going to revalidate your account. So in revalidation, we are going to move your money from this account to an alias account. So to fix these charges, they tell the victim that they need to move their money to an alias account, a safe account that the hackers can't access. Of course, all this is doing is getting the victim to do a wire transfer right into the account of the thieves. Alias account is a random account which is created under a random name and random location. So right okay. now, the total amount which is supposed to hit your account, that is of 30200 something from your chicken account. So you are going to move this same amount of money from this account to the alias account all right once you have the account information you can go to the bank any of the local branch you can move the money from your check-in account to the alias account right. and this is the case of identity theft and hacking and we are also going to investigate the uh, local branch employees so keep each and everything confidential we don't have to mention anything regarding these transactions or anything about your computer issue to any person inside the local branch. $30,203. Yes, they may ask you that who is this person? Where are you sending this money? You can simply say that he is a friend of mine and you said it will take you 15 to 20 minutes to reach there, yeah. right? 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to put you on speaker and set you down on the passenger seat, okay? All right. Once you just reach there, just let me know. Do not talk to me inside the bank. You can just turn on the speaker and uh, keep your cell phone in your pocket. Now, of course, we're not going to wire any money, but we still want to keep the scammers on the hook. So Ray and Chappie proceed to manipulate the scammer into believing that wire transfers are no longer an option. Uh, hello. Um, I'm here. I'd like to make a wire transfer. Okay, the account number that you are giving me to send the funds to, looks like this account is on hold. So it's oh, not really? allowing, me, yeah, it's not allowing anyone to send any funds to it. Uh, hello, Michael. She was trying to tell you that your account has been on hold? No, um, two things happened. The one, the banking information you gave me, a flag came up, but they, she wasn't too clear on it, but... Apparently, there was another issue, something my husband had done two months ago. We were starting to get scared because banks were closing. My husband came down during lunch to take out $200,000 to put into a safe 
vault we have at home, but he didn't fill out the appropriate paperwork because he's too impatient. And so now the IRS wants to audit our bank account, and that's, it's just a big mess. I'm going to have to call the IRS. That's where I'm at. All right. Just hold on for a few seconds, okay? What if I were to take that amount in cash and say get a certified check, would I be able to mail it? Let me discuss with the senior financial officer. Okay, I want to call right. you outside the bank now. Yeah, I'm back in my car. Do you want me to just go back home? You can drive back home and All right. let me discuss with my senior financial officer. All right, are you at your home right now? Yes. yes, I'm at home. And how much cash do you have at your house? Um, I haven't counted it, but the last time that I knew of anything, it's over, it's almost 200000 in cash. So the scammers now think that the victim has $200,000 in cash in a safe at home. So not only do they jump at the chance at collecting that money in cash, but they find an excuse to get the victim to not just send the $30,000, to send the entire $200,000 in cash, payable with UPS packages sent to four different addresses. Now, in that case, I can provide you an alternate way to finish this. You can send this cash directly to the senior financial officer who will be investigating this case. Oh, All right. And how do I send it to them? Once they are coming to for the audit, if they find that you have any cash left at your house, in that case, they may cancel the audit. They may block all of your cash as well. So you can do one thing. You can convert all of your cash. Uh, you can send them for the verification. You cannot simply mail the cash or the cashier check. You, you have to wrap the cash. Um, what we want to do is do this quickly because tomorrow I'm traveling. I am going to California for some nurse and nurse trainings that I have to go. Planting the seed, California, where Trilogy Media is. You can do one thing. You can, can you bring all the cash in front of your computer? All of it? Yes, all of that. Because we have to move all of your cash today itself. Need to warn you, my husband will be home in about 30 minutes. I don't know what I'm going to say to all him. right. You don't have to say anything to your husband. Now let me open up camera on your computer. Um, I don't have any camera on my computer. Why would I? You, you don't, don't have any it. camera on this computer? Why would we need one? Now I'm starting to feel a little weird. Why are you wanting to turn on a camera? Do you have a box at your house? Small uh, box, like a stool box. Yes, I have Amazon boxes, yes. And do you have a, uh, some newspaper or magazines at your house? Do you have aluminum foil? Uh, oh, of course. And cello tape? I have aluminum foil, lots of it. You have to make, uh, wrap the cash 50,000. In first box, you have to make 50,000 and wrap it in a old cloth. And after that, you have to put a aluminum tin, um, foil or the, you can say tin foil, all right? then wrap it from all the four sides nothing should be visible it should be completely wrapped and on the box i'll send you the address and the name of the person where you are going to make the overnight transfer okay right. and you can put the address and the name of the person then you have to go to the ups okay so you've changed your mind it was going to be almost the two hundred thousand. now it's the fifty thousand. No, you are going to send all the money, 200000 but it should be in four different boxes. So four, bo four boxes. Um, yeah, take your time, take your time and wrap it nicely. Are we sending the these boxes to the same place? No, it has to be sent on a different places. Okay. Because if you send all the boxes on the same places, there might be a possibility there may be some disturbance in the line or somebody may try to track. So that's why you are not sending it to the same place. Once you have all the cash at the same place, just make a small video by using your cell phone and well, or else do... you can take a pic. I can take a picture, but I won't be able to do video. You can take a picture, right. You can take a okay. picture of all the cash. I'm going to stack the cash and then I'll take the photo and then I need to know where do you want me to send it. I'll give you the number. You can send it on that number. All right. Yes, I'll give you. I'll give you the name and the address as well. You just have to pack it as soon as possible. All right. You are a nurse. You know how to cover the wounds. Pack the all the cash in the same way. This is the picture. It has real one hundred dollar bills on top. That's two hundred thousand dollars right there. Now I'm going to text you four different addresses. Okay. You have right. to 
send these four boxes on four different address okay. and you have to go for different UPS store do not carry all the boxes in the same UPS store okay I'm just gonna get this rounded up let me use the restroom real quick I gotta go to the bathroom and then I'll be able to leave okay all right all right all right in the UPS store as well if somebody is asking you what is there in the box you can simply say it is a small gift and you will oh, see yeah. gift I'm sending to my friend. Also ask them to give you the receipt, the slip as a proof, okay? Now, of course, we're not going to mail the cash, so we'll need a way out of this one. We're going to get into an accident. Okay, Michael, Michael, I got a question for you. Yeah, please go ahead. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! That was easy. <laughs> So now that the scammer knows that there's $200,000 ready to go, and he knows that Mary is headed out to California, it's time for Mary's co-worker, also played by Chappie, to finalize this scam bait into a cash pickup at their hotel room. A hotel room where Trilogy Media is waiting and ready to go. Enter Nancy Drew. Hello? Yes, it's Mr. Dawson there. Hi, this is Dawson, and uh, I believe you're Mrs. Nancy, right? Yes, this is Miss Drew. How are you? you? We are super busy, and now I'm having to do work for two people because Mary is too sick to do anything. She has four boxes here that are all taped up. The outside box that they were in were all ruined from her car accident. I have no idea why she shipped them with her luggage, but she asked me to give you a call about picking these up or doing something with four boxes, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. All right. She was uh, supposed to send those boxes. Okay. How is she right now? Is she feeling good? No, she's not feeling good. What is her condition right now? Her condition is she's not good. The doctor's talking to her. I can't. What is tell her condition? I is can't she okay? tell you her is medical fine? condition. She's not okay. Where are you located? All right. Right now, you're talking to me in uh, California. I'm in California, and those boxes were supposed to be dispatched at some place. Okay. I will okay, give well, you the where... address. Can you? No, I'm not shipping anything. We're in California right now for training. I was just trying to explain you that the boxes should not be sent to California. It has to the be The boxes are in California with me, period. But you do The you boxes do, uh, are in California it. with me. We are listen in California. To listen to me. We're in California. And she said to now ask you, don't you have if to, you're you in don't California. Have to send it to, you have to send it oh to God. New Jersey, not in California. I'm not sending it anywhere. If you're in California, you can pick it up or you're going to have to wait. I'm not supposed to pick it up. I, okay. Uh, then you, uh, she has should, to be she may be back, back to in New three, Jersey. Yeah, that's not happening until she gets, you want to do it when she gets back. But I'm not her, I'm not her all postal right, service. All right. All right. Can you just hold on? Can you just hold the line for a few seconds? Sure. Let me discuss, okay? Sure. What is the best thing we can do? Okay. So we're going to use a Hershey's with almonds because it's got to be nutty. Diane's <laughs> got a real nutty <laughs> diet. So gross. And then we're going to add some uh, Reese's with peanut butter for texture and uh, color. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> oh, God, it's already gross. Look at that. Ew, fuck. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> He can't talk to me, no. not even a single word, no. not even a single word? No. All right. But right now she's with you in the hotel, right? Right now she's in bed and we're waiting for the doctor. All right. If I can just have a word with her, the I can just... No. Uh, the answer is no. You can ask her the that is Mr. No. Dawson is asking her. me. Oh, my God. This guy doesn't listen to me at all. You didn't ask her. Don't done? lie to me. Excuse me? Don't lie to me. You didn't ask her. I'll let her know. I'll tell her to call you when she gets back after surgery. I don't know when she'll be back. In that case, you really don't want to help her. You're no. just something... Whatever. I'm working. We're out here working. All right. Okay? All right. If, if, you don't want to, if you don't want to help her, if you I don't want to help her, then in that exactly case, it's okay. exactly what she asked me let to her, do. Just ask her that, should I dispatch she or not? Sick. Just ask her. She Confirm from her. So you want me to bother her. You want me to go against what the doctor said to bother her to ask her this, right? Is that, I want to hear you say that to me, right? You want me to go if against... You, don't, you want me to go against what the doctor said 
And what she said, and you want me to go wake her up while she's sick and ask her that, right? If she is Tell with you that. in you the hotel, you can just you ask a simple question. Do you want me to wake her up after the doctor told me not to wake her up until the other doctor gets here? Then in that case, Do just follow the instructions she has given you. Right, the instructions Listen, in are that case, to just call follow you the instructions and, okay. she has given you. Right, the instructions are to call you that you're in California. You can pick this up. Yeah, if, he, if she has given you the instructions to call me, yep. now you have to follow my instructions. <laughs> if you really want to help her, just dispatch those boxes. Oh, you're funny. The instructions. Why are you laughing? Because, Why are you laughing? Because of what you're saying. You're not making any sense. You just said, follow what she says, and then you changed it. You said, do what she says, and then it do means, what I said. It means you what really, you really Danny, don't bother listening. about you're her. Listening. You're not listening. It means you're you not are not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. Why are you repeating these things? Because you're not listening. And that's what you do with children when they don't listen. All right, Mrs. Drew, I'll send some someone from my office to uh, uh, reach at your hotel. Okay. Send me your address. I'll okay. give you the name and you can just you can just uh, send me the address, your address. and uh, When it's happening, yeah, person. as soon as I have the identification and I talk to her and she tells me what to do, I will call you back today and let you know. All right, thank and you. if it is possible, if she's She's okay, not talking to you. She's not talking to you. So if you're going to ask me that for the fifth time, the answer is no. My, the doctor already told me, do not let her work. Take her phone. Do not let her be on the phone and working in any type of stress. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. All right. Bye. Oh, my God. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, that's this is so gross. This is literally the National Leo your daily basis after your burritos. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally you and your burritos margaritas. Wow. Hello. Hello, Mr. Dawson. Yeah, Mrs. Drew, uh, tell me that, uh, did you speak with uh, Mary? How, uh, how is she? Yeah, right she's now. not good. She she's in, no, she's not good at all. She said one surgery and they're going to do another surgery today. She's bleeding internally and they're trying to find out where the bleeding's from. She should have never come out here. Anyway, she said, um, absolutely no, I cannot ship those boxes anywhere. She said, if you are coming or one of your colleagues are coming, um, that I can give them to you at the room or she will give them to you at the room when she gets back. Um, but she said to get the name of the person because she said she doesn't want to hand it to, I don't know what it is, but she said whatever it is import is important. And she said she wants to make sure she knows who's picking it up. And I said he was going to send a courier. And she said, no, absolutely not. I'm not giving that to a courier. And I said, oh, okay, I'll tell him. And I said, what about one of his colleagues? I think he's going away. You told me you were going away. And she said, if he works for Mr. Dawson and you get the name before he comes, then that's fine. So All right, I'll give said. you the name of the I'll give you the name of the person and uh, I'll call you. I'll let you know when that person will arrive. Text me the address. And okay. After that, I'll make an arrangement to somebody to go over there and pick it up. Okay, let me call you. They're they're waving me in. I'm coming. I'll call you after the surgery. All right. Just send me a message if I'm not able to pick up your call. Drop me a message. Yep. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye bye. It's all right. It's all he about plus. Yeah. It's all about plus. You want the real sh and the real titties? You got a T plus. He's <laughs> plus. There we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> We're gonna just melt. <laughs> the bait that Ray and Chappie set up involved a car accident. And yet somehow this turned into like a bowel disorder of sorts, a, a thing problem. Now I'm standing in front of Ashton in our streaming room and here is a bunch of wigs. So I turn around and I see there is a big dildo Diana sticking out. And I'm like, why don't you be Diana? He looked at me, he was like, titties. Given that this one involved a female victim and then Chappie playing a coworker of this female victim, we figured let's have a female decoy and who better than Diana Diagonal? Diana Diagonal, right? So she's the one who is um, having medical issues in her butt, right? <laughs> there is... So we got chocolate, we got stuff to make chocolate in the diaper to make it look... And then I'm like, well, why don't I just wear the diaper? So it's kind of an evolution, so I was wearing the diaper. Diana Diagonal, she has a medical issues and she needs somebody... Uh, ass wiper, ass... 
penetration guy. And it was me, Dr. Vlad. This was the original plan. So Diana Diagonal, or I, I, it, was, it was a girl on the top, uh, bushes under the arms, um, um, uh, balls spreading out, and, and, and a diaper. So it was something, a creature laying down over there with the spreading out testicles like this. How's that look? Oh my god, so Is that, great. uh, what do you think, Art? Is it? <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't have kids, but I think, like, <laughs> when I will have kids, it's gonna be my f***ing life. Yes. <laughs> For two years, yeah. Sergey! Ivan! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do today? Oh my god. Ew! Oh my god. Dude, this is so f***ed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your um, employee is gonna uh, be at her hotel at six o'clock, right? Yeah, he will be there at six o'clock, sharp six o'clock. Yeah, is she? Is it? You said his name is Jack. What's his last name? His name is Jack, and uh, you don't have to reveal the last name. You don't need his last name. She's you simply have for to. The last name. No, we don't reveal the last name because so you this have is her a confidential. Last name, but you don't have our. But she can't have his last name. No, listen, listen to me. Yeah, wow. First of all, you need to understand. You need to understand this case that uh, right now, this is a, something confidential. You can simply say, if Mary is asking the last thing, just tell Mary that Mike said this is a confidential matter, so you don't have to reveal. Uh, you, she, we she are not going to reveal. Name. I told her that, and she said, why does he have last my last name and I don't have his? And I said, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. It's just some loser coming all right. up a bomb. All right. All, all right. His name is Jack Thomas. But first of all, you need to understand. You don't have to ask anything or you don't have to tell him anything. I, I know how to that talk what... to people. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what I say. I'm no, no, no. Name. Listen to me. I know, I know you to... don't... You I'll know send if... you the address. Um, Nancy? Do you have his phone number? No, I, uh, I'll provide your number. He will contact you at the hotel and you can come outside. You can hand over the package. Outside. He's going to meet. I'm not going to be there. She's going to meet with Mary, not me. Okay, he Mary has to meet with room. the Mary. I'll send you Mary's I... ad the room. The doctors are with her now. They're going to dinner All right. at 6 o'clock, so she'll be by herself at 6 o'clock. You will be also there with her, or no. you won't be there? No, no, I get stuff. Only there. Mary will be. Yeah. Only Mary will be there. Yeah. So is it possible for me to talk no. to Mary by that time, around no. 6 o'clock? No. She said just give him my address and room. The doctor said take her phone, and I said I will do that. All right. Then in that case, give me the address and the room number yep. so that I can send the person. But just convey the message to Mary if you are saying that I can't talk to her. Doctor denied that she should not talk. In that case, just tell one thing to Mary, not to disclose anything to that person that, uh, and not to discuss anything regarding her case. Yeah. Simply hand over the package to him. He is my she'll, trustworthy yeah, she's guy. She's not worried about but it. She, not, she, I, I showed her the message that you said. I showed her what you said, that you're not allowed to talk to anybody. And she said, what is he talking about? And I said, I don't know. These are your people, not mine. Yeah, you again have to tell her. Just convey the message I that Mike is speaking anything, said. but I will. <laughs> This is a damn bad visual, bro. These virus pop-up scams, although a bit wild and extreme here in our scam baits, are actually extremely common and lucrative for the scammers. They are master manipulators and they will work tirelessly to make sure the victims don't discuss the details of this scam to anyone, not even loved ones. As wild and crazy as this situation is, it's actually quite terrifying to think about when we picture our real elders being in this situation. Guardio is Trilogy Media's exclusive cybersecurity partner and video sponsor, and they're exactly what you need to keep yourself and your family safe from online threats. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> what? Oh, you a freak! Holy f freak of nature! I need a lot of help. Who can you unravel me? Oh, <laughs> my god. oh my god! Oh my god! What is happening? Oh. <laughs> Don't do it again. Oh. 
Gotta keep my voice down. Unroll me. <laughs> Pop-up scams are just a drop in the ocean of threats that exist on the internet. Everybody is susceptible to malware, hacking, and phishing scams, no matter how tech-savvy you might be. Guardio's browser extension gives you real-time protection as you're browsing the web. Your browser is the doorway through which any online threat has to pass through to get to your system. Having a bodyguard there, like Guardio, stopping threats in real time is the best way to keep yourself safe online. This is the weirdest frame I've ever <laughs> <laughs> take a picture and send it to chat. Oh Thank you. Wow. Yeah, actually. I, so uh, T plus is where you want to go. Um. <laughs> and Guardio's data leak monitoring is just as important, if not more. Data leaks happen in major corporations all the time. Look what just happened to MGM. Thousands, maybe millions of people just got an oops, we got hacked email. But what are you supposed to do next? If your data was leaked, you need to know about it. So you can know which data was leaked and by who, so you can change your passwords accordingly. Yeah, so we've got... Singing, I'm going to fit the tits. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my wow. God. I, I just... I... <laughs> For me, recently, it was Luxottica and Twitter. So I know which accounts are linked to those, and I go and change all those passwords immediately. Guardio also gives me real-time alerts for any future leaks that might occur. Try Guardio for free right now by using our link, guard.io slash trilogy. You also get a hefty discount just by using that link. Type guard.io slash trilogy into your browser, or simply click the link in the description beneath this video. <laughs> so, um... Subscribe to Trilogy Plus, get all the goods, can see all the, all the real estate. A lot of GoPros. Alright. You got a set of GoPros yourself? <laughs> oh, wow, <God. laughs> Holy. No, 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 come here, come here. Not just hitting the ear. Yes, come here. The boobs here. Just a little bit. Dude. Always wanted to do that. Hold on, like, hold on. Oh, God, like Rosie did? <laughs> what the fuck? I pray to God you have to go to the lobby like this. <laughs> No, it's not even complete yet. You can add up to five family members simultaneously on one subscription, so your whole family can be protected. With our link, you can try it for free for a whole week, and you can scan your browser and data leaks in 30 seconds. Art, you better get this guy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Listen, Betch, get Guardio. Why? Or you're gonna ruin my good mood. You understand? See how I'm protected? This is not easy to protect right here. You need Guardio to protect your online life. And I'm coming for you. I'm gonna sit on your face. See this? I'm gonna sit on your face. Yeah, yeah Guardio, subscribe to Trilogy Plus. I won't have to sit on your face. Baby, people want to sit on their faces. You want some of this? <laughs> no, I'm just saying in general. Ask you for my friend. I you know feel what they like say? a knife starts at 10 grand. <laughs> 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 Why it's only 50? Pick a hole and finance it. Bitch. <laughs> Go to guard.io slash trilogy to find out if someone like Twitter leaked your information. And if you're lucky and they haven't, Guardio will alert you when they eventually do. <laughs> yeah, they did. There's no f***ing... Look at that fatty. <laughs> Look at this. Doing f squats every week. That's from Lost Bust. I cannot even f do anything in this. One move. They're gonna rip. <laughs> it's gonna be big hole. It's gonna be wow. Looks like we're shooting cores over here. I know. <laughs> so Your shit. fucking nipples are so hard. <laughs> this is the most disgusting. Yeah. Part. Put it in your mouth. That is. Oh. Put it in your mouth. Absolutely. Lick it. Here, you try and lick it. Try it. Just try a little. Bit. God. <laughs> well, I'll put it back in the diaper. Uh, Gross, dude. So what do you think, the people that say we need to be more professional, what do you think they're gonna think about this video? I think they're gonna love it. I think it's just <laughs> the fuel that they need. <laughs> All right, you can simply just convey my message not to disclose anything to that person. I simply already handle showed her the that, okay? We don't tell people how to do stuff, okay? She said I'll say whatever Nancy. I want to say. It's her business, not mine. Nancy, Nancy, 
I'm saying yeah, that's this my name. because Thanks. I understand. Thanks, Mike. Mike. I Mike, under- Mike. 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 don't don't show me this. Don't show me this. I will attitude. send you. Don't. Tell I'm me telling what you to something. Do. She's got a I'm wind telling up you her something. Job because you're rude. You're not listening to me. You're not listening I'm to me. I'm sending you the address right now. I'll give her the job better than do. I, I can give you the job. Right I now. can also give you the job as. What job? As well. I don't need a job from you. Are you kidding me? Do you know, do you what, know I, what I do? what I am working for? What I am I working for? Do you have any idea? You, you with whom you are talking right you, you now? Pick up packages. Do you know Nobody with whom you are talking? Yeah, you're not important to me. We have real jobs I here. I do not go to. I do not go to field and pick the package. You pick up boxes. I'm not picking up the box. Okay, well, your boss is picking up a box. <laughs> Nancy, know. am I coming to pick up the box? I don't have Are you stupid? You're being am rude. I coming you're to pick rude. the box? I don't know. You're, you talk like that. You talk like that. Or your guy is, whoever is, the guy you work with is coming. I don't know. You're picking up a box. I don't know. I have doing. my own organization. I do not Good work for, for anyone. Congratulations. Okay. What does that mean to me? I can I employ mean, 100 person like you. Nobody can. All right? I would never work for somebody like you. Are you kidding me? I'm I won't you, employ you know, a person is... like you. That's I can right. employ, but I can, I won't employ I'm a person sending, like you. Are you done being rude before so she not gets talk, fired? Not, Mary, you're going to get do not fired. Talk, this guy is do not rude. talk to me. Okay, you're going to get fired, to like Mary, this. for this. She's crying Do not talk right to now. me like now this. Now Mary's crying. Nice you job. said that you are somewhere outside. Now you are saying you no, are I with Mary. No, I did not. I said I am not, right? I am not going to be with Mary. I am with her doctor so right just now, con- getting her instructions. Just convey the message to her not I to did. disclose anything. Why do you keep I'm just simply that? telling I you did. the same thing. I did. Why do you keep repeating? I did. I told her that. I showed her the message that you sent me. All right. All right. Let's not discuss. I don't have to do anything with you. I don't. I do business with the people like you. You just, you're doing the job for the Maddie. So let's get it done for her and send me the address. My person will be there and he will pick up the package. Just convey the message. Jack you Tom- are the person for you. Jack Thomas will you be are, here at you, 6 o'clock, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean the address as fast as you can do. I told you I'm doing it, so don't order me around, okay? I'm sending you the address. I'm trying to get Mary to stop crying because she's going to find a new job, okay? I will send you the address like I told you I would four seconds ago. You are crazy. You are crazy. He's coming now. the batteries we might want to just set them down and try to get them off because this one is still rolling and i can go film call you go to the speaker you mute yourself and you can hear what's going on if you hear that f-er, the more come when you start running away you give everybody command to come down downstairs we need to send art okay yeah, it's been 30 minutes it was 7 23 where she said they said he's in the building mm-hmm. okay no, she said no she said no this is Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Uh, this is Mike here. So uh, the delivery person, he is waiting outside the room, okay. number 726. All right, have him knock on the door. And All right. The door. It's be- that simple. Is the guy there or not? Yeah, he is waiting outside the room. So you gotta just, knock uh, on the uh, door. That's how people. You don't stand outside the door. You knock on it. All right. Uh, I'll ask. 
Uh, I'll ask him to knock, or you can yeah. just. Uh, I'm not uh, there. Uh, no, no. All right. Can you just uh, check if someone can open the door? Knock on the door. That's what people do. Is he at the door? All right. All right. Mary will open moment. the door. Mary will open the door. All right. All right. Just give me a moment. And of course, everything that you plan, it would never f happen. Same f situation when we only have, let's say, five, seven cameras and we have Go GoPro, the battery is dying. Like we just sitting and waiting and it's like a ticking bomb. In the worst case scenario, he will walk in and everything, the cameras are dead. So we need to f act. The creature who is laying down like this, getting impatient, he want to pee and he said, look, can send our downstairs and let him f do his job. Weasel the f our cash mill to uh to the room. Like we have to do it. I need to go. I know. I'm, we're gonna lose it. We're gonna have funeral situation when Dave did not come and we did not come out and f we lost everything. Let me get room keys and let me let me go get him. Fuck this. Let me do my magic. Okay. Okay, I'm calling you right now. In a separate elevator, maybe. Uh, can you do something? Nancy, the hotel staff are not allowing him to go inside. Okay, then they are mind. asking then him. I'll have her call you in five weeks when she gets back. No, now listen to me first. No, he I gotta tried to reach your home, but the hotel staff are not allowing him to go inside. They That's are asking true. him to. Yeah, this is the truth I'm telling you, ma'am. Okay. He okay. said he said that they are not allowing him to go inside. The, um, he tried to reach your home, uh, room, yeah, but the, he is still waiting in in the lobby. If yeah, somebody the is does. there, we'll call the, I'll, I'll call the hotel. I'll call the lobby and tell them to let him up. Yeah, if you can call the hotel and tell them that one person is trying to reach room number seven two six, please let him go inside. That will be better. All right? Can yeah. you do that? I'll do my best. Hey, Jack. Are you Jack? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Vlad. Hello. I'm Miss Mary, um, assistant. I just came and... He got him. She said you have a problem to find her. She has like something for her. She said from Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Are you the, from Microsoft, Jack? Yes. Okay, yeah. She has something for you and she said to come downstairs to get you. Uh, yeah, I have the keys. She said that um, the front desk not letting you in. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Jack. They're coming up now. Sean, English speaker. How long how long have you been staying downstairs? What was it? It's all, what was it? How long have you been downstairs waiting for uh, Miss Mary? About half hour. Half an hour you were downstairs? Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hi guys. I was like they told me that you cannot find it. I was like, what's going on? 
thank you so much. Appreciate it. She's such a pain in the ass. Uh -huh. I literally have to like change her diapers, everything. And I was like, and now she said, she screamed at me. She's like, go downstairs. There is a person for me. There is a Microsoft guy. I was like, Microsoft at seven o'clock? She was like, yeah, go get the guy. Yeah, get ready. She is a bitch. <laughs> What's your name? Jack. 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 What Paul. is your last name? Thomas. Jack, do you have, she said that you have like, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, um, pass password? Um, do, 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 did you do like a password or something? No, I, I don't know. It's none of my business again. Are you on the phone? Are uh, you on the phone with oh, someone? They, they, they. Oh, so, so, sorry, my English is no good. Oh, you with the translator? No, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you with the translator, I got it. All right. You work for Microsoft, right? Mm -hmm. That's what she said, okay. Uh, she said there is some personal belongings and she didn't want to give it. I was like, hey, can I go downstairs to give it? She was like, no, 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 don't give it. All right, here we go. Hey, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Yeah, straight, she's in, she's in her bedroom. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it, thank you. Like I said, she's a bitch, get ready. And hi, by the way, my name is Dr. Vlad. I just yeah. wanna... <laughs> yeah. What yeah. the yeah. f*** took so long? And you're supposed to change my diaper. Ridiculous. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for Jack. I'm so sorry, Jack. Why are you supposed to be uh, out of Hey, Amazon? hey, hey! I got the guy. I got the guy, okay? You're here, right? From yeah. Microsoft? Yeah. yeah. Right, He's Microsoft. You told me to come. What's that? You got the password? My name, is, my name is Dr. Vlad, by the way. Nice to meet you. I've been legging here with my f in my ass for oh the last hour. Oh my minute. god. She was. She said she was like for 30 minutes. The the oh what? my god. 30 minutes he was downstairs. Why? It's Come not on. my problem. You knock on the door? Jack, can you tell her that's like. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I saved him. Okay. What? You saved him from what? I saved him from waiting. What are you waiting Man, you I'm, not getting paid. I'm not getting paid enough to oh do the this. Well, then take the f. Take the f sniper. Jack, there is a box. Oh like, my god. There is a box. That's the box. What is in the box? He knows it's a money from the Microsoft. It's, it's a Microsoft? 000. Yeah. It's a money from Microsoft, right? Yes. For 200,000. Two. Two hundred thousand. Different pack. I put it all in one box. We have to put it to the sun. It's I. This is none of my business. I'm here to. Man, well, did you do know? the second yeah, one? Because you didn't change my oh diaper this time. My God. I'm so what sorry, the... Jack. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, take the box. Natasha's I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Better addition. You are. I'm gonna touch. Oh, Natasha, Natasha. Natasha. I'm oh sorry. My God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jack. Oh my God. Come, Jack. 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 What's happening? Jack. What's happening? Jack. What Jack, what, what's going on? Jack, what, that's, that's her. What that's her, what's going on? What, what's going on? Jack, we need to talk. We Jack, need to talk to you. We're calling uh, police. Jack, we're calling police. You, you f up. Talk to us or you want to talk to police? Hey, 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 we're stop. Gonna, we're going to make a scene in the lobby. Hey, we're going to make a scene in the lobby. We're calling police. We're going to go. Jack, we're going to make a scene in the lobby. Jack, what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Get your stuff. Go to the lobby, go to the lobby, go to the lobby. Bitch! Go! Go! Going to the lobby like this. Ah, my crotch is hanging out. What are you here for, huh? What are you here Scamming for? people? Huh? What are you here for, huh? Scamming people? Huh? Scamming people? $200,000 for old ladies? Scamming people? $200? No, not yet. Scamming yeah, people? What is it? on the internet, buddy. Scamming people? Yeah, your family's gonna see huh? this. Huh? The whole world's gonna see Scamming this. people? Scamming people? Yeah. Huh? Scamming people? That's what yourself? you do, Jack? Huh? Jack, uh, no, you're no, not no. getting paid today, Jack. No. You're not getting paid today, Jack. You're not getting paid today. Why are you here? You're not getting paid today. Why are you here? Jack, police? Police? You speak in Mandarin? Which language? What language do we speak? Jack, what language do we speak? Let's go, let's go to police. Let's go to police. What is it? Let's go to police. Jack, we're going to police? Jack, we're going to police, right? Tell your boss we're going to police. You see my crotch? Yes, you can. Put my underwear on so my cock doesn't hang out. That's your boss, right? Hearing you said translator? No. Police? Policia? No. Jack, policia? Jack, we're going to police, right? Jack? Don't touch me. I'm not touching you, right? No, 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 it's no. No, no yeah, 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 yeah. Jack, you see? You're touching me, Jack. You're doing it again. Jack, you're doing again. We're going to police. We're going to police. Where we're we going, Jack? Jack, where we're we going? We're going to police. Oh wow! Another amazing immigrant making money. Look how you're making money, huh? Jack, you're not making anything today, huh? 
Not making anything today, right? No money, nothing, not making anything today. Oh, f Jack, you f You're gonna be famous. Jack, you're getting famous. What's going on, Jack? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. getting famous. Why are you running, bro? What the f is your problem, man? We just wanna talk, bro. Hey, 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 Jack, I got don't a jump. Diaper you can don't jump, don't jump. Jack, here we go, here we go. No need to jump. You still need, you still need your life. Oh, my God. I'm still out of GoPros. We're gonna make a scene in the lobby, Jack. Oh my Son God. Of Son of a bitch. Don't break your legs, Jack. Don't break your legs, Jack. Are you kidding me? Don't break your legs, Jack. Jack. Don't break it, break it. We're gonna let someone fall the 30th floor. Oh my God, my tits are bouncing. My titties are bouncing. My tits, my tits are bouncing. Oh, we're outside already. Oh, Oh, good. Dude, I don't have my glasses. I don't even need a lobby. We're outside. Oh, shit. Oh, dark. Yeah. I'm blind. Yeah. Don't break your leg. Don't break your f***ing leg, Jack. Jack, you're going to police. You're f***ing going to police, Jack. Give me people, Jack. Come on. You're not going to run away. I'm a professional athlete. I'm not Dr. Vlad, but I can f you off with the Dr. Vlad, Jack. Jack, going to police. Dark, and I'm blind. Oh, hello. Oh, in the gym, look at me. Where do they go? I can't see. Oh. Oh. So, what do you do in America, huh, Jack? Another fing immigrant. Okay. Jack. What are you doing, Jack? Jack, what are we doing? What are we f***ing doing here? Why did you camp for $200,000, huh? Why did you f***ing camp for $200? Huh, Jack? Jack, you f How you doing? I ain't so late. Jack, you so f***ing f***. Oh, and your translator is not gonna help you. Nobody's gonna f***ing help you. Well, this is coming. Tell you a fing band on the phone. Jack! Running not gonna save. I run every day for a living. This is me. I run when I'm horny. I'm run when I'm hungry. I'm run when I'm in a good mood, in a bad mood. Jack! Stop stealing money. Jack! You fing piece of person. Came on the second floor to an elderly, elderly lady to get $200,000. Jack, you such a f piece of f Jack, famous? Give me a smile, give me your best smile, Jack. Best smile. Jack, where you from? Where are you from, buddy? Jack, where are you from? I gotta walk back to the lobby with this sh Bullshit. Oh, f me. Door is locked, bro. How you doing? Yeah, Nancy. So did you deliver the package? Did, did someone I? deliver the package? No, what is going on? That's what I'm asking you. What is going on? Yeah, something does not sound. Something smells really fishy here. And I think you're the f***ing fish. What are you trying to do to Mary? Sorry? What are you trying to do to her? What exactly are you asking? That I'm is not your concern, you. Oh, right? yes, it is my concern. Yep. Because something doesn't sound right at all. Why do you think something because, doesn't sound well, right? Because of you. You keep doing stuff that just doesn't seem right. So what did you do right so now? What business do you really do? Did you really call the police? Do? Did you so call the police? What, do you, what business do you really do? I'm asking you. Did you call and the I'm police? I'm asking you what business you really do. And I don't hear an answer, son. You can you can ask what from Mary. That's what yeah, business yeah, we are Mary doing right knows. now. Yep. Yep. Mary knows. Mary's all over it now. We and I lightened her what's going on. Can so, I can I speak to Mary no, now? No, no, you can't. Actually, right now she's giving you the finger. Okay? So you fed up her life real good. So did you call the police? That's what I want to hear oh, from you. Do you want side. to know? And this is where I'm supposed to answer your questions? F you. You know what you are? You You're a piece of sh You're a little open you up boy. Yourself, you. Okay, you, you know. No, yourself, f yourself it's cheaper, little boy. You're a scammer. You yourself, you, you useless scammer. 
That's what you are. A useless little scammer. And you know what? <laughs> How come your English all of a sudden disappears, huh? Huh, Jack? How your... How your English disappeared? How does this feel to steal money from innocent people, huh, Jack? Jack, you... I can run for f***ing hours. As long as I can f I can run. Jack, you f***ed this game. I can run for five hours if you want. I can do short distance, long distance, short dick, big dick. I have everything for you. Depends on, like, you know. Oh, oh my God, Jack. Jack, what's happening? Why are you sliding like a sliding bitch, Jack? Why are you sliding? Jack, you want to get killed? You want to get killed, huh? Jack, it's not worth it. How much was your cut, Jack? How much was your cut, Jack? What the f***? Why are you breaking yourself? Don't kill yourself. She's a kid, dude. I spoke perfect English now. Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to smoke inside. Oh, f***. Whoever sent you here didn't give a about your life. That person? Jack, stop. Jack. Jack, what the f***? You're gonna break your legs. Jack. And he's here. Put some flashlight. Jack, doing, put flashlight. Jack, what the f*** are you doing? You don't want to jump from buildings? It's okay, Jack. Oh, oh my go. God! He's going under. Dude! Dude, what are you doing? Dude, what are you doing, Jack? The rat's gonna bite your dick. Jack. Why, like, come on, dude. Oh, wow, I didn't know like it's gonna f***ing happen to me. Jack, it's a bad end. Like, come on. Jack, oh my God. Dude, I don't want to go through the dirt. He's going through the dirt, dude. Oh my God, it's hot. It's hot titties. Titties are hot. Oh my God, you poor women. How do you do this? Ah, summertime tit sweat. I don't know how the f you do this. You f legends. Oh, I'm wearing a diaper. Dude, you're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna f kill yourself. Jack! He's going through that. Shit. He's going through that. Shit. Jack, like, what the? Are you going back? Oh my god, Jack, you're like a rat. He's a fing real rat. He's going through every single hole. Jack! Dude, stop. You cut yourself. Is it worth it? Jack! Come on, man. What the? F Jack, like, what the? F Come on. Let's go to police. Let's go to police, Jack. Jack, where are you going? It's so dirty. Jack, come on, dude. Jack. Jack, what the f***? This is embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed for you. He's so defeated. Yeah, he's just gonna lay there. He's so f defeated. Jack. Jack, there is no way out. Jack, there is no f***ing way out. Why are you doing shit like this, Jack? Oh, man. <laughs> Jack. F***ing Jack. All right. What a f***. Wow. Is this really worth it? Is this really worth it? We have security coming. Yeah. Fucking Jack. He's sitting like a rat. Sitting like a rat. Dude, I feel so sorry for him in the way the way he acts. I'm watching him from this side. Jack. Come on, you don't have to be a rat. I mean, you're already f***ing rat. You're stealing people money, but Jack, like, what the f***? Wow, what a f***ing Jack.
This is embarrassing, anymore, dude, dude. This is embarrassing. This is how the world's gonna see you. Stop and Stop. talk to us. Jack, you came steal money. You understand that? You don't? Okay, talk to me. I'm not gonna, like, if you're gonna talk to me, I'm not gonna call police. You wanna talk to me, Jack? Jack, we need to talk. Like, I cannot run after you. I mean, I can. You just, I'm outrunnable. It's like I'm f***able, I'm outrunnable. You cannot run away from me. I do running for a living. I told you I'm horny, I run. I'm hungry, I'm run. I'm sad, I'm run. I'm happy, I'm run. Jack. All right, talk to me and I'm, and I'm not gonna call the police. Can you tell me who's your boss? I'm not interested in you. I wanna know who is your boss, Jack. Jack, who is your boss? Jack, who is your boss? In China? Your boss in China? Just say yes or no. Jack, in China? No? In America? Yeah, I don't know what he was in America? Know. You knew what I said. Yeah, you're here, man. Come on. Jack, you said it. You nod and then you and you twisted your head. So he's not in America? Jack, it's too late. We already have your face. Like it's too late for you. Jack. Jack. Dude. It's too late. Like what are you doing? Jack, don't don't break your bones. You don't have insurance. You don't have nothing. Jack, talk to us. Why? Like, come on, Jack. Can you let Ashton know where we at? The same parking lot where that guy ran away. Remember that on the white car, Toyota? Jack, dude, why are we, why are we doing this, Jack? <sighs> where are you going to go, buddy? No, I I know, brother. See you on the other end. Jack. Oh, come on, dude. Like, what is gonna do? You're gonna be more dirty, Jack. You're gonna be more fing dirty. Come on, dude. You cannot run. You like. What are you doing? Where are you going, Jack? Just talk, talk to us. Can you talk to us? What are you doing? Can you put translation? Can we get translation? Do you want a translation? Do you speak Mandarin, Jack? Mandarin? Jack, Mandarin? Jack. Jack. Yo. What language do you speak, Jack? Which language do you speak, Jack? English? You spoke a little bit English with me, it's okay. Jack. What's the problem? It's not your name, Jack. What is your phone? Did you lose your phone? Yo, Jack. Jesus Christ. Jack. What the f Yo. Did you know why you came to the hotel? Do you know why you came to the hotel? Why you came to the hotel? You said you're from Microsoft. Jack, you said from your Microsoft. You're not from Microsoft. Jack, why did you lie to us? You're not from Microsoft. Let's go, I will give you water. You want water? Let's go, I'll give you water. Let's go, you don't have to sit like there like a freaking homeless person. Huh? You have the keys? Yeah. 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 Jack, let's go. I will give you water. Come on, let's go. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? Not gonna hurt you. I will give you water and I will give you napkins to clean yourself. Come on, let's go. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. Let's go. Come on, dude. Let's go, Jack. I'm gonna give you water. I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay? Let's go. This is not not good place to be. Come on, Jack. Come on. I will help you, Jack. I will help you. Let's go. You wanna go or not, Jack? Yo. Hey man, we all make mistakes. This guy's actually not going to help you. Yeah. I would take it, dude, because the other option's not good. Take the help, take the water, take a breath. Let's go, you can take a shower, it's okay, let's go. Come on, let's go, come on, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, let's go, let's go. Jack, let's go. 
No, I know, we're living. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. yeah. We just got a scammer who was trying to steal elderly person for $200,000. He's a cash mule. He... We're trying to avoid that if they'll cooperate. We, yeah, we, uh, we scam bearers, so we pretend to be Listen, victims. And we do voice changers for those, you know, like fake Microsoft, Norton, so, PayPal. Why don't you just come talk so to So he's us, just man. a cash mule. He came from a different country. And he go pick up those uh, stolen packages from uh, our grandmothers and grandfathers. Shame, so many scammers. Jack. Just be careful now. Yeah, sounds good, guys. Thank you for checking on us. Come on, let's go. I will give you, I will give you a water, Jack. Yo. Come on. Good Did you get your phone? Where is your phone? Where is your phone? You have your phone? Okay, good, good. At least you have your phone. I will give you water. You can clean your, you can clean your, clo uh, clean your clothes. Jack, are we gonna talk or not? Let's talk. Like we're not gonna hurt you. You already hurt yourself more than it's supposed to. Like look at this, Jack. Like come on. Dude, it's exactly the same exit when that mother ran away. What a deja vu six months later. Even less. Yeah. Jake, we want Jack, we want to help. Can we help you? We don't want you, Jack. We want the guy above you. Oh, this is easy. I asked him I asked him if he was, I asked him if he the boss is in China, he said no. And then he said, no, 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 I, I don't speak English. Jack, I personally want to help you. You looks like you what, 18, 20, how old are you? Hmm? How old are you? Jack, how old are you? Dude, in this outfit, I feel like I'm a the, the, the crazy uh, professor from Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Feel f deja vu from past to the future. What is Ashton? Oh, okay. There, there, uh, we have two keys. One is still inside. Jack, I'm gonna give you water and you can take a shower and then we can talk. Okay? Jack. Yeah, our hotel that way. Jack. Yo. Yo, can you listen? Can you listen? Our hotel is that way. I can give you water. You want water? Jack. Dude, this dude like a tank. I will give you water. You want some water? Jack. You want water? 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 Jack, water. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Jack. Yo. Jack, sit down. Where are you going? What are you trying to accomplish? Do you have somebody who's gonna pick you up, Jack? Jack. What is your friends? Jack. Did you drive a car? Jack, car? Jack, car? Jack, car? Dude, who is this guy? I mean, while I'm gonna get Ashton, he go like he's gonna be already a mile away. He, okay. he don't want to speak. Get the keys, bring them okay. That's cool. Yeah. It's in my it's in my uh, little um, uh, backpack. Yeah. So why you have like we're gonna lose a third angle? Yeah, there are keys in the hotel, and and I didn't lock the door. I, I put these like little hook. Yeah, I put like little hook over there. Uh, yeah, it's in the hotel on the chair where Sean was sitting sure Sean. Ne next to his computer. Yeah. 
I put specifically that hook so we can get in. Yeah, yeah, next to his computer, his laptop. Yeah, by the bed, there is a chair, chair next to his computer. No, Ashton computer, Ashton computer. There is a little person, there is a, there is a um, car over there. Car, car keys. Okay. This dude wanna... Jack. Yo. Call your boss. Call your boss. Call your boss. Call it on the phone. Call your boss. Jack. You wanna call your boss or not? Where are you going, Jack? Jack not only got Jack shit today, but he's like the, the, the least talkative guy. No? Jack, what is your car? You wanna go home, Jack? It's incredible how his English disappeared. He was already like, you know, but he was like, yeah, I'm here for Microsoft. Yeah. I'm here for this and this. Yeah, there is money. Yeah, I know. Immediately. Immediately. Dude, this is the most embarrassing cash meal that we ever had. Yeah. It's a walk of shame. It's a walk of shame, yeah. Wanna go all around LA? You have a direct, um, yeah. Ashley has a direct location yeah, to you? For you? Location. Okay. Who closed this car? Because it's beep beep. Let me check this place number just in case for this one. It was crazy. Yeah. Yo, Jack. Can you talk to me? Can you stop and talk to me? Jack. Yo, can you stop? Can you talk to me? Jack. Jack, can you talk to me? Can you talk to me? Jack? All right. We got a tile on the red. Funny how you understood everything they were saying. Uh huh. Uh huh. Microsoft, Microsoft two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, you don't know anything. And now it's just like vanished. You're gonna let the world fill in the blanks for you, buddy. It's not gonna be good. We have your face. You're gonna see your. You're never gonna be able to apply for a job again. People are gonna know who you are the rest of your life. They're gonna. You're gonna get deported if you don't have any papers here, Jack. And you're here on tourist visa. Just you... say something. Jack. Well, we'll see Diana. Diana should come and, you know. He's just gonna go like he's a zombie, dude. Like he became a zombie. Yeah, do you know how your plans tonight were to come pick up this money? And spend it? Our plans were to wait for you. So if you think we're just gonna leave, you're walking away, you're wrong. But this is all we had planned tonight was to hang out with you. Hmm. We got a runner, we got a crawler. Crawl through every single hole under the Macy's or Westfield. This dude was in the mood to go deep. I just really like that shirt too. Dude. But you know, he's working for criminals, so he's gonna go steal from another grandmother yeah. to buy uh, himself a new uh, t shirt. Need a break? We do too, man. Actually, we don't. Jack, yo. Come on. Stop. Jack. We do you, okay. What do you want? You want us to call to police? Do you want to call police, or you want to talk? What do you want? Police or talk? What do you want? Police or talk? No police. Tell me what do you want, and we're gonna help you. Tell me what do you want, Jack. Jack, what do you want? Police or not police? Jack, you're gonna hurt yourself. Why? You almost jumped from the f building from seventh floor. You're gonna. F Hurt yourself for what? For five hundred dollars? For thousand? What they offer you? You gonna f die for this crap of money? Yeah, I don't know. You don't need to die, you young, you young guy. Why do you need to die? Why do you need to f climb this tree? Why do you need to go through f every single hole? 
Exactly. It's your instincts to run. Don't run. Like, Jack, Jack, like what is that tree gonna do to you? It's not gonna help you. Jack, it's not gonna help you. Jack. Yo, Sean, come here and just give me my phone because it's gonna be like, I have to climb. Just give it through, through this This mother car, why like, I supposed to go to the gym after this? Like, Jack, what the f Like, what the f dude? You're gonna hurt yourself. Dude, like, what the f Where you, what the f what is he doing? What's on the other side of that? Is he gonna jump? Yeah, so what's on the other side of that, dude? Let me see. I can't see. Jack, get the f down, man. Jack, it's not funny. It's, you don't need this. Like, you don't need this, Jack. You, you're not a cat. You're too, too, too clumsy and too... You're not a cat. Dude, we told you we're not gonna call the cops. Bro, what are you so doing? Just running is f***ing pointless. Jack, you're gonna break your leg. How are you gonna make money? They're gonna replace you. They're gonna, they're gonna send more cash mules and you're gonna be without the job. I mean, like what the f Jack. Jack, you don't, you, you. Yeah. Action. <laughs> Cat climbing trees and going. Are you? Oh my! Oh my are you oh. kidding me, dude? Did you just yeah. All right, he took off. Huh? Oh he my! The fence, on the bro. Side, I don't know. I have no idea. There. Is that a golf course? Right. This guy fing. Mark, Mark, uh, it's not worth going after him, Mark. Uh, All right, give me my phone. Where is right, it? I got it. Where are you? Oh, it... Come on, Connor. I'm losing him. Where are you? Connor, come, Connor, come, Connor, come. Okay, give it to me. Over here, right here, right here. Oh, mother f***, I'm dirty, where'd you go? Feeling. I don't think you went up. This is the craziest bust we have ever had. What the f***? This man is a human rat. He literally crawled through the sewers. They chased him. Oh my god! It. It's, it, this is the craziest thing ever. Guilty as f Dude, his escape. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Should I jump over and go after him? I don't think you're gonna catch him. Yeah. No one's gonna catch the cat. Uh, wow. This is unbelievable. This is insane. This was the craziest thing. This f***ing roach. Dude, crazy. what the f happened? Show, can you show him some of the footage? Oh, yeah. Right. I'm gonna cut. Actually, oh, yeah, because you didn't bring your camera, action. right? No. Yeah, I can hear him. I can f hear him. Oh my god. So then look at he comes down here. He runs like down in here. What the f? Dude, look at And then he jumps this thing Parkour, like, into this like, crazy, like sewer, dude. bro. He looks like we beat the shit out of him. Yeah, I know it does. This fucking mother. F it's a cemetery. It's a freaking cemetery. Oh, Art's What's calling that? you. Hey, where are you at? Speaker. Hold on, hold on. Because it's a cemetery, it's a private property. We're not supposed to be here. Yeah. Okay. You where? So where are you? No, the f I got away. Oh, f gigantic cemetery. cemetery. Cemetery? Jesus. Now, this is cemetery, the one that by the way, when you drive, you only, you always see those. Um, oh, this is a cemetery. Yeah, it's a cemetery. Oh, my, oh God. my God, bro. Come yeah. back to where we, where you left us, and we'll. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already here. All right. Okay. All right. What? I fell. I wrecked my knee. You okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Dude, it's the adrenaline the, the right cabinet, now. the cabinet in the hotel is uh -huh. all f***ing busted. Cause you, we heat crash, you guys. You, you, you wanna see something weird? Get in the car, let's go. What the f is that? 
He was wearing a wig? What? I just found it. He dropped the wig when he what? when he jumped. No what? No was on way. the cover. No. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Shine some light on that. He dropped the fucking wig, guys. Oh my god. That was a wig? Bro. We gotta take it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a wig. No wonder he was running so fast. Dude, Dude that's a first. That's a first. Holy sh I thought it was his real hair. Me too. Dude, Dude it's Mortimer's <laughs> grandson is a cash mule, mother <laughs> Oh my god. Where is Art? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, coming. Dude, this is like episode of Scare Me. There is a, f uh, there is a little place that Careful, somebody- there's spiders. There's spiders everywhere. Oh, I know, it's already in my head. Here, yeah, I saw it. Right there. I have no problem with spiders. Uh, you know well, not in my car. Uh, <laughs> go elsewhere. Can you? Well, if you get one on me, go, you're not good there. Go, go back where you're All right, then. From. Please. There's a, you're going to get a big <laughs> face right there. Right here. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. Can you uh, can you put the light where? It's on the side of the fence. Oh, look, I'm crawling up the tree. See a big bitch? Oh, oh, you. Dude, fuck that, that tree is cut. No, you're going to hit it. Yeah, you're going to roll right The tiniest. Try to jump straight down. Don't go outward. All right. Oh, my God. You see it? Yeah. I ever wore in my life. Okay, do you a spin. Okay, you guys do, do a spin. Diagnostic. Diagnostic. <laughs> Diagnostic with your mouth. Aww. All right, let's go back to the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Here's, your Here's your phone. Here's your phone. Here's your phone. Oh my God, you guys. Hello. Hello, Nancy. This is Mike here. Did you call me right now? Some lady was calling me. I and I don't know who was she. Did you call me? What? What are you? What are you doing? Why are you scamming um, people? I was just trying to sleep. And Why you are you me, scamming right? people? Why are you scamming people? You, you are a bitch. Why? Why don't you okay. suck my and you, Because I can't don't find you suck it. My Listen to me. My neutered cat has a bigger than you do. You get that, boy? Why, you oh, are nothing but why a don't fucking suck open my a because why don't I can't you suck find my it. Is you, that the only English you, No, you stupid. You are a You are a You are a Jail. You, you, you uneducated motherfucker, and your mother you, is a You can't your do anything. Is you, a you. <laughs> Clapped off to you. You're a little boy, grew a little. D oh, wait a minute. No, he didn't. Sorry. Are you sure? Guys, wait till you see my vlog going back into the hotels, Diana. Uh -huh. People, everyone yes, looking at me. He, he was waiting here all this time for 30 minutes. Dude, he no. Was here. When I came back in, this door doesn't open without okay. a room key. Maybe we should put the. Uh, Look, maybe we watch. Should this won't open. Sorry. See? He, maybe he, they weren't lying. Yeah. Oh, that he couldn't get couldn't in. Couldn't get in the front oh, door, okay. yeah. You don't have enough, little boy? Hi, Nancy. Sorry, what's going on? Sleep? You can't sleep? What's there, going on, Nancy? Because you're the devil? Is that why you can't sleep? The devil running through your mind at night? No, Nancy. You what's going people, on? What did you do, you do with Jack? Do you people kill themselves because of what you do for what? a living? Do what you? did you do with Jack? Do you? Maddie, where is Jack? What did you do with him? Mary's not here. What are you talking about? Nancy. I don't hear you. Maddie? Can't hear you. Nancy? Are you there? Nancy? Yeah, I removed his mask. Yeah, there you did. <gasps> oh, shit. Really? Yeah, like his mask. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Let's double lock these doors just in case. So watch out. What do you want, little boy? You can't see. Yeah, Nancy. Nancy, what? Nancy, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Nancy, can you hear me? But I don't care about what you say. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi, Fresher. Nancy, can you hear me? Hi, little Fresher boy. What did you do with Jack? Don't you wish your mother swallowed so that you weren't here? Why don't you just Why don't you just suck my? Because do you like Jack? We not covered it because we can't find your. Okay, I would take yours you, and Jack's and tie you them would like to sh and You would like to suck my cock, boy. right? It's so Nancy, what's going on? Nancy, when, why are you speaking like this? Speak why are you English, speaking like this? It is so sad. It is sad. Okay. Nancy, you why are you to speaking take a like class, this? Son. You, need to you take sound a like a. You sound like a. You sound, you sound like a. You sound like your mother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't believe that. At least it didn't break the glass. Yeah. What? Oh, it pushed out a little bit. It did. Oh, it did, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It separated. Um, Do you actually have broken this? No, like, it's, you know just, what? it's, it's just, honestly, uh, 
It's unless you do like a deep f***ing double check, you're not gonna even f***ing notice it. And, th and this was what's funny is because the scammer kept telling to Chappie, where is Jack? Where is Jack? Like, not only has Jack definitely done this before, but there was something about what was going on that made him so scared, probably to even call his boss, because that line of communication is always almost instant. And we start f***ing with him, right? Like, hey, we have your boy, this is his picture. Your cash mule got caught, he's a rat, your rat is defeated. And that's when he was like, oh, by the way, bitch, you got trilogy media and three, four of us, three of us, Rust, one, two, three, four of us, we took a group picture and we sent you a scammer. So like, look at this, bitch. You tell them you will something, that there's trouble, the scammer already knows immediately. For several hours after this bust, the scammer to Chappie didn't know what was going on with the mule, which tells us the mule probably didn't call his boss. He was probably so f freaked out about what just happened that he didn't want to talk to anybody. And as a final f you, we were able to hit the scammer from a few different numbers. So I started texting the scammer from my end. We sent him a nice f you finale picture when he knew that he was really trilogy media. Manzi. Keep talking, I need you on the Are phone there? a little bit longer. Keep talking so the feds can keep tracking you, son. All right, Manzi, what did you do with Jack? Uh, oh, don't you wish I would answer questions for a scammer, but I don't. Because you know what? I'm in control, little boy. And you're a nobody. You're a nothing. You're a fresher. You're an opener. It was so hard not to laugh out loud when you tried and to tell me you. And who are you? Who are boss. you? Tell me something about uh, yourself. I, you... I don't answer questions from f***ing scammers, okay? Do you I know don't what just karma talk is? My you are doing I this, right? You're getting f***ed by me. You're getting f***ed oh, by me you know since sad? last two days. Yeah, I'm f***ing you. I'm f***ing you for the last oh, two man, days. Yeah. And you're enjoying $2, that. $200,000 in my pocket, motherfucker, not in yours. Okay, we're laughing at you. The chase was exciting, but let's not forget everything that was accomplished here. An experienced cash mule, exposed, and likely out of the game for good, an international bank account money mule that was collected and reported, four separate cash mule addresses collected and reported, and dozens of hours of scammers time wasted, resulting in less real victims being stolen from. Thank you so much for watching this video. Head over to Trilogy Plus where you'll find tons of extra content relating to this bust. There's also a link in the pinned comment beneath this video if you wanna watch the extended and uncensored version of this video. The unblurred version is also there, if you so dare. You can listen to all of Chappie's calls with the scammer un edited and uncensored. You can even watch the entire scam bait, which is over three hours long. At the very least, give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.